Happy Tuesday, everybody. Mark again here with the Man Plus. Now, I'm going to give you the latest update on what's going on with Invest 97L and what's going on for the rest of our hurricane season. I'm showing it's still potentially going into December and it's supposed to end by the end of November. Now, you can see for this morning, all this red is actually just freezing temperatures. It's all in the teens. A lot of people in the 30s down towards the south, but a lot of teen temperatures this morning, plus a lot of snowfall. All this snow fall for Minnesota and Wisconsin. I can agree. I do see some flurries outside. It is starting to add up a little bit. I'm over here still in Milwaukee. But what we have coming through tonight, remember tonight's going to be the coldest night out of this whole transition. Let me take this off so you can see it. But you see how it's going further towards the south with all the 20 degree freeze warning that's going all the way towards the southeast plus all this white going all the way to the coast this is where it comes in later tonight and y'all going to be potentially in freezing temperatures as well so it's not just what y'all enduring right now this is actually going to get worse later tonight but let me show you what i'm talking about in the tropics we still got this invest over here they're not the one that's in the eastern pacific that's going to keep on going that's going to keep going west it's not going to turn into what otis did guys we have invest 97 l here so i'm going to show you the latest outcome what could potentially happen it all depends if it takes that northern track over towards the the Cancun area, the Western Caribbean, that's what's been trending. Or if it goes further towards the Southwest, maybe going into the Eastern Pacific as well. Now, real quick, just to remind y'all, I know y'all going through a lot of cold conditions right now. Remember, this is not going to last long. Matter of fact, as you go into next week, your temperatures are going to be well above average and could last for a couple of weeks. Like I showed you yesterday, I could be on that very low trough in a very high ridge going straight south straight north and that's just could keep a lot of warm temperatures just keep that on the back burner guys that just cold temperatures is not going to last now let's get into what's going on in the tropics now the latest update is at 70 percent in the next seven days but it's still at 30 percent in the next 48 hours Plus, environmental conditions appear conducive for further development during the next several days while the system moves westward over the central and southwestern Caribbean Sea. Plus, a tropical depression is likely to form by the later part of this week. Now, you can see with National Hurricane Center in 72 hours, you have that big trough coming down by Central America. You have your front right here, but you also got that low pressure system that's starting to build up as it moves towards Nicaragua. Now you can also see, since it's an invest, we can look at these panels now from the Hurricane Model B, Hurricane Analysis Forecast System, that it will be weak, just like the Euro's been showing. Start strengthening up at the last minute, right before landfall, as it goes towards Nicaragua, as it go through Friday and Saturday. Carry all that moisture and precipitation as it goes towards, maybe towards Belize, towards the Western Caribbean, over here by Cancun, as it goes through Sunday. You can also see on the other hurricane analysis forecast system, showing that it will be something weak as it comes by Nicaragua, headed towards the Western Caribbean. You also can see that with the precipital water that it gets a lot of moisture together and it tries to group together, it just cannot pretty much almost like an open wave just traveling around now when we check the latest intensity guidance we can see it has a chance to become a tropical storm as we go by four days towards five days some of them even take it where it could even be a hurricane matter of fact the old hurricane analysis uh, program the h wharf shows it could go all the way up to a major hurricane then start weakening down and you can see that here, it starts strengthening up and goes straight towards Nicaragua, does not stop strengthening. But look, see how it does that little curve right there. Take the intensity with a grain of salt, that's not what's trending. And when you go by the update, the 60 that just come out, you can see it still heads more on a straighter path than that curve. And that's important because we got to know whether this system is going to be going out through the Western Caribbean or through Central America going into the Eastern Pacific. And the update shows it would go, unfortunately, through Central America, but it would go into the Eastern Pacific. No further problems after that. But it was showing the Western Caribbean. Showing that if that happens, it would be a lot of precipitation getting together, a lot of above average temperatures still right there. Now remember, if it goes on that southern side, is Still going to tap into deep ocean heat content, just not the worst of it. But it's still strengthening up in those above average temperatures and going right into Nicaragua with a big storm. Even the previous run that shows it going right towards Nicaragua and then curving, hitting Honduras, maybe going to the Western Caribbean as well. 
Both of them show a very big storm with a lot of precipitation headed towards at least Central America. Now, I think this is what's been trending. It's going to go through and curve a little late. Maybe come out by Cancun, still have an issue, getting hit by the cold front. Maybe come out by the Bay of Campeche. Now, as far as model guidance and track, the latest track shows that it will go through Central America in five days and curve back around coming back around on that ridge guys from that trough moving in of the high pressure of the cold air now you can also see here on your automatic tropical cyclone forecast a couple shows that it will intensify and curve out and that's what it will do because if it curves out it will be intensifying that's what makes a curve like that but more than likely will stay weak go further to the west go through nicaragua but then start making that turn now, the latest on the GFS, you can see all the ensemble members showing and some showing they get that turn. It will strengthen when it gets that chance. Now, you can see with the control member that it does show that it will go into the Eastern Pacific and then maybe eventually turn. Matter of fact, the ensemble means the average has been shown that it will do that turn eventually after hitting Central America. Now, there's your latest update as of for today on what's going on with your deep ocean heat content. And you do have deep ocean heat content even going into this white right here. The graph's just a little messed up. So it does have some that it could tap into if it goes towards Nicaragua. But you see how the, the worst of it, the most intense heat, deep ocean heat content is northern in the Caribbean. So it could intensify for a moment and then maybe be right on the edge of this intensity as it goes towards Nicaragua. If it's further to the north, it will intensify and probably turn sooner. So as we look with the updates from the SpaghettiOs, you can see with the GFS that it goes towards Nicaragua. Almost all the members are agreeing and will intensify in the last couple of days and still do that turn, guys, and go right back out towards the east-northeast as we go through the first week of November. I even waited for the update, the 6Z, showing the same thing, intensify right before Nicaragua and curving right back out in the beginning of November. But this is where things have changed. Now, you can see right here, according to your ensemble members, pretty much within five days, they're all in agreement that it is going somewhere towards Nicaragua. Whether it's going to be strong or weak is still the question. It's almost at a 50-50. I'd say that the intensifying storm has lessened in some of these. Now, you can look right here. Your controlled member more than likely will be just a group of disorganized thunderstorms and open wave as it goes through Central America, curves around, and still stay weak and get pushed back by the cold front, then maybe something can happen with that system. Matter of fact, as we look at the latest runs with GFS, you can see that cold front hitting. You can see as Invest 97L starts intensifying a little bit, still showing maybe it'll become a strong tropical depression, maybe a weak tropical storm right before it hits Nicaragua. And look at this. It stays weak the whole time after that. Even the update, once again, shows weakness like the Euro's been showing a long time ago. And after that, maybe get a surface low over by Cancun. Something very weak, just a group of disorganized thunderstorms. Nothing special. You also can see the SpaghettiOs with the Euro showing nothing strong. Very weak. A group of disorganized thunderstorms that will bring some flooding towards Central America. Also, the update with the Euro is 6 z You only see six days. You see how it shows maybe a tropical depression, a weak tropical storm going towards Central America, then going to the Western Caribbean over by Cancun or the Eastern Pacific. Might even get two vortices. Still just going to bring a lot of flooding. Matter of fact, the confidence with the Euro just getting a tropical depression. You see how it does have that chance to curve towards the Western Caribbean, but more than likely will head into the Eastern Pacific, guys. That cold front is just too far down to the south. Matter of fact, you can see this on GFS as well. It does favor going towards Cancun. There is going to be some kind of wobble trying to go further to the west, but favoring his best chance for growth will be going into the Eastern Pacific. And you can see this here for the Euro. You can see how it starts to build up in four or five days going towards Nicaragua, towards Central America. And as you go further, you see it tries to go to the Western Caribbean, but just falls apart into the Pacific, guys. And you can see what the Euro still showing is going to be a group of disorganized thunderstorms, maybe get down towards a tropical depression as that passes by. Still bringing a lot of rainfall, a lot of precipitation still coming with that wave. But you can see right here on your vorticity that it is pretty much an open wave, a very long open wave, not together at all 
as that comes through. So it will bring some thunderstorms, a lot of rainfall. There will be some things that you need to watch out for in Central America as far as maybe some mudslides going on. It is going to bring a lot of rain. And just to be well-rounded, you can see with the Canadian, see what's trending. And it is trending what the euro is showing. Even the GFS is showing that this morning. Next thing to be concentrating on, guys, is something later in the Caribbean supposed to be forming up. So I will let you know what's expected down the road for our hurricane season. Now, one thing that was abnormal that stuck out to me is when I looked with the euro and checked with the ensembles, something actually starts showing possibility for growing as that's wave comes this shows that the wave will not go to the southwest it will go to the west and that would strengthen over the deep ocean heat content by the 7th by the 8th probably still going to be a problem for the u.s guys this is the ensembles of the ural so when you check and see with your velocity potential anomaly this lets you know when you're going into a favorable environment lift all this blue or unfavorable all this orange and red so our section is right here you can see central america right here so right around the beginning of november there is some lift that's coming in our region you can see it is for the eastern caribbean so that lift is not going to carry further to the west so it will weaken down as it goes through just like we've been seeing in the model data once again around the 10th we go on the same scenario and it may move further to the west and strengthen as we go through the middle of november guys now one issue i have with that is when you look at your latest mjo you can see that we have favorable environment that will be leaving soon and as we go through the beginning of november we're going to have some favorable environment over here by central america where we're seeing a system everything else is going to be in the neutral where it's not favorable or unfavorable while unfavorable starts moving through with that cold front. You can see this shot right here while that system is not forming. We can also see that around the 15th, something is supposed to be forming according to the potential velocity anomaly, according to the MJO showing that unfavorable environment will be in our region, guys, supposedly for the end of our hurricane season. Now, as you look here, you can see for the beginning of December, that favorable environment is moving into our region and our hurricane season could be going into December for this year. Now that is very strange and, and very odd, so I will keep you updated. I'm sure it will change, but all these has updated this morning. You can even see the update on the Euro agreeing with the GFS that it will be sometime around the 15th before we have something strong, a strong anomaly moving through the Caribbean. Until then, it will be something weak just like you've seen on the GFS as well. So GFS and Euro is both showing something coming in the middle of November when the MJO is showing we have unfavorable environment moving through. Plus Euro is showing that favorable environment and moves through all the way for the beginning of December. We'll be somewhat weak. We'll be some neutral phase in there as well. But the strength will more than likely be in the Eastern Pacific as this may strengthen up in the Western Caribbean and go out into the eastern pacific that's what it's looking like so far that part right there has been trending that the last few updates this right here in the middle of november i think is our next area to watch but thank you very much for your time tell me what you think in the comments below do you think this hurricane season is going to go into december or do you think the mjo is actually going to update because euro and gfs sees an anomaly in the middle of november and the mjo don't show that neither that's a little contradicting and going against itself. So I will keep you updated. I appreciate every single one of y'all. And before you go on with your day today, everybody, I want to talk to you on 1 Corinthians 10, 15 through 21. It's so important. I speak as to wise men, judge ye what I say. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? For we being many are one bread and one body, for we are all partakers of that one bread. Behold, Israel, after the flesh, are not they which eat of the sacrifices partakers of the altar? What say I then, that the idol is anything, or that which is offered in sacrifice to idols is anything? But I say, that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of the devils. 
Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. Amen. I wish the best for every single one of y'all. Remember, think wisely as you go through today. Just forget about today. In my opinion, that's the way I go through it with my family. We just take it as another normal day. And I will see you again for tomorrow. Remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I hope he gives you all the best blessing ever in your life, you and your family, just for honoring his commandments. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Have a great day, everybody.